guys, it's Custom Media. Today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to make a channel icon for your YouTube account. This is the standard icon that you see many um, tutorial guides um, that have on their YouTube channel. Uh, you need uh, Adobe Fireworks CS4 to do this. Um, I will put the link to the trial in the description to the right. Um, it's a great program. You can also have Adobe Fireworks CS3. That's actually what I'm using. Um, so first open up Adobe Fireworks and this is the standard icon you see on YouTube a lot lately one like VV Comp Helps or Technologically or myself or many other YouTube account channels have okay so once you have it running you want to click create new fireworks document and then you want it to be 200 pixels wide by 200 pixels high you want the resolution at 72, and you want canvas color as transparent. Click OK. It's going to look like this. Okay, once that's up, you want to open up the rectangular tool, which will be right here. And you want to line this up and get it as good as you can to fit. Then you can fix it right here. Make it precise. 200 by 200 and then you can go 0 by 0, click enter okay uh, now once you're here you wanna click on this arrow, click on gradient scroll up to satin you can experiment with other ones too, I've always used satin but I, I bet a lot of other ones could work as well um, and then you want to click the color tool and then the one on the right is your primary color, like mine is black. The one on the left is your secondary color, which I will do as blue. And then what you want to do is you want to, you, you can just fiddle around with it and uh, get the balance that you like of color differi differentiation. I kind of like it. I think that looks pretty cool right there. Um, so once you have that done, you can just click outside. And then you want to click on your pointer tool in the top left. You'll get something like this. And then you can fiddle around with it, get the different designs. Oh, that's weird. Um, whatever f suits, floats your boat. I kind of like. Find a healthy balance. Hmm. Let's see. So you can fill it around with this as much as you want. I think that that right there looks pretty cool. So I'm going to click out. No, I like that one more. What am I talking about? I like that. So you can click out. And then once you have that, you want to click on the rectangular tool again, but on the arrow on the bottom right of it. And scroll down to ellipse tool. Then you want to create a circle as big as you want. This is what will have your initials in it. Initials of your YouTube account or whatever you want to put in there. I'll start mine from right here and go like that. And then you can also fiddle with this stuff. What? You don't really have to. You can fiddle with this as well. Mm -hmm. I like mine like that pointer tool. Mess around with that a little bit. I don't think it really matters, but whatever. Whatever floats your boat, like I said before. And then what you want to do is you want to go over to styles while you have that located. Pick one that ever, ever floats your boat, once again. Um, then you can mess around with that pointer tool as well. Um, I'm going to use the all black tool, but you can choose from many other ones. Mm. Or I'll choose this pinstripe one, for example. Um, no, I'll use the all black one, never mind. Um, so once you have the all black one, you can click on that. Then you want to go to text. Make a box, 
this and you can edit this after um, pick a font a size font color font whatever I'm gonna do Luna bar you can download it off of defont.com it's a great font I use it in a lot of my projects I'm gonna go CM like as such I'm gonna change the color of that to oh let's see, no yeah well that doesn't matter right now but I'll change the height of it to Uh, uh, do a little bit bigger. Shouldn't take this long, to be honest. My clicker's just screwed up. I got a new mouse and I'm still figuring it out. Okay, 90 is a good font for Lunabar. Then you're going to highlight that, and you can pick any of the given styles. You can also download some off the internet. I suggest doing that. It looks a lot cooler. But I will do one of the ones given because I haven't gotten to downloading them yet. You can try a lot of different ones out, whatever floats your boat. I love that saying now. Um, so I'm gonna find one. Hmm. I kind of like this one. So once you have this, you can fiddle around with this again. Uh, you can do whatever you want, and then you want to go to File, Save As, and there is your icon. Alright guys, this is a custom media production. I encourage you to subscribe to me and Technologically if you want to see the newest, be the first to watch our videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.